it's approximately after five here at the apartment complex where they, we are having boys come over to play evening ball and after we will have some service with the children at approximately 6.30. So they are here already hanging out with me and Miss McCoy. As Ricky tried to score a goal and they cut him down. The children are recreate, they are here, here all day and they went to take a walk and they are back now for this evening prayer meeting and reading of the Bible. You missed, you missed. So we are here having fun. All of us are having fun at the apartment complex where we are staying. Trying to keep these children together out of crime and violence. There's a high crime and violence going on in Belize. And this is the only way we can keep some of them out of crime and violence at this time. The rest of them are not here. They're going to be here more a little later. But we're just trying to do with the ones that doesn't have anything to do in the community. Play ball! As I walked over to Miss, to Miss McCoy. over to Miss McCoy here at, at the complex that we are staying. Miss McCoy is having a little relaxation. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. I see you look you're relaxing and looking after your children. Our children. Me, you and Mr. Ross children. As they're relaxing, getting me ready for have breakfast this evening after breakfast is prayer meeting once again trying to restructure these children to become great citizens in society so miss mccoy i saw you in the water today enjoying the water how was the water today well it was um strongly salt but it was nice great caribbean sea the great caribbean sea that's what miss mccoy said yes as we enjoy the day and Myself is also a part of this relaxation. Looking at the children enjoying today here at um, our apartment complex, it's a, it's a time for all of us to come together to try to lower the rate of crime here in Belize. And we're glad that we have Mr. Ross to be a part of this, all of this initiative here in Belize. We support Mr. Ross' um, support for the, the, the children here in San Pedro because the government is not supporting um, um, against crime and violence in our country. And when you don't have your government support, then you know that crime and violence is going to be high, especially against our foreign investors who are here trying to make our country become a better place to live. These are some of the children that we know that from time to time they should be getting looked at. They are soccer players. Who knows that one of these days they can become a superstar soccer player for this country. So we are just trying to do what we have to do. So we thank you, Mr. Ross, and we want to thank you once again for being here for a while, supporting our initiative against the crime and violence and for a safe to believe and uh, for us to protect the tourists that comes to our country. It's a high um, um, risk that uh, some of the tourists take to be here, but it's a vacation. They want to be happy. So we are going to support them in trying to protect them by teaching our future to do better. So thank you once again, Ms. McCoy. What do you have to say? Well, I am grateful for um, all the people who came on board to try to help us to lower the crime and violence in Central America, Belize. And, well, there is nowhere across the earth that the government supports anything when it comes to crime and violence against its own citizens because this is just how the system is designed, right? So, I am grateful. 
and I hope that the children are grateful. And what do you have to say about the greatness of Mr. Ross? Mr. Ross is a part of uh, this initiative of trying to save lives. That's what I said. I am grateful for his support and um, his help in providing because he provided the things that we didn't have. Sporting equipment and food and things like that. So I'm grateful. So you think it's going to make a change for the community and uh, of San Pedro? Well, it's a start. It's a start because nothing can completely change, but if um, you try to fix the loopholes, then that's a start also. What do you have to say for some of the tourists who are coming to Belize who face with the high rate of crime? It's a new start when they come into this country because they don't know um, most of the things that are happening until it happens to them and then they become a victim of either crime or violence or they become um, a victim of government suppression and things like that. So that's my take on And as for the, the ones that is donating the hundreds of thousands and not seeing safety in the community? Well, how... how um, I don't know how long they will be supporting the people who are just getting richer and not supporting the people who are struggling to pick up the crumbs of the crops, right? So what do you want to say to the town council of San Pedro? What do they need to do to make a change because of the, the sad effort of the children they are straying over San Pedro and doesn't have anything to do? Directly to the child, the child friendly. Um, coordinator or organizer that he needs to, you know, really take child friendly into a, a serious note because if it was so child friendly, we wouldn't have a lot of children strain on the beach and trying to fend for themselves when there should already be well organized programs for them to be accommodated for the whole remainder of the summer. Right? This is this is the reason why we have to have a summer program. So as Mr. Ross go back to the United States, what do you want Mr. Ross to share with a uh, citizen of the United States? Well, I would be grateful if um, on our behalf, since the program is not getting supported much in this third world country, I would be grateful for um, his assistance in traveling overseas and trying to raise funds so that, you know, we can uplift the program and trying if so trying to pro protect tourism and trying to protect our own children from not being um, poverty stricken to the point that they will want to take something else from somebody that does not belong to them. Thank you, Ms. McCoy. I love that interview. You're so welcome.